Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody Sick. My name is MJ Moto, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown of Love Machine Part 1 by Yali Vis. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Loading. Yeah, Levis starts this EP out on the right note with Lifobo, which sits right where he has become a household name. It has a fusion of R&B, Zouk and Afrobeats, and it's what the Congolese star is so good at. I've heard his sound being referred to as R&B love in the French circles, add his voice to the mix with that lingala and all that, then you have a winning formula. Ningani is going to be an interesting track. Firstly, because it sees Malian star Siddiqui Diabate on the collaboration and he is a huge draw card in Francophone Africa. Obviously, he comes from a long lineage of choral players and musicians with his uh, legendary late father, Tumani Diabate, being a Grammy winner. Yali Viz and Siddiqui Diabate are a powerful combination and this song is proof, no doubt. You should really hear the guitar work on Nedudpa. It has definitely been a highlight since it was released in May with a video following that as well. The numbers don't lie and having crossed 1.6 million streams on Spotify and over 2.5 million on YouTube as well, yeah, this song is a vibe for sure. I absolutely loved Come With Me alongside Teni Makanaki aka Teniola and this song, if pushed right, to the right audience could be a big one in the Afrobeat space and general uh, francophone afro side of things. It's the perfect song to marry two worlds that may not always collide much. We've seen songs such as Hype Remix by Ayana Kamura and Ira Star do really well in that space, so I'm hopeful for this one because it could be another one. Love Machine Part 1 has strategic casting with Siddiqui Diabate from Mali, Tenny from Nigeria, helping to make more inroads across a wider geographical space and linguistic space as well, which is pretty cool. Something I wanted to add here is that the use of the log drum has really been embraced by music creators all over, particularly on the continent. Yali Viz does that on Sugar Daddy and in its own way, it shows how much influence Ama Piano elements have had in African music in particular. The log drum has been a revolutionary sound that many people mistakenly call Ama Piano overall, but it works into the narrative anyway. The genre has shifted the African landscape big time, mostly in the last three years, and it shows with the music that's coming out. Love Machine Part 1 is definitely a no-skips EP that elevates the Yali V's brand as a musician with a knack for making addictive love songs. No guesses as to why he is called the ambassador of love. It's hard to pick any standout song as a result. They're all a high standard of offering anyway, so it's your pick. Your pick is as good as mine. At 17 minutes runtime with six songs, you can't go wrong with Love Machine Part 1. It has enough to keep you engaged and it's short enough to make you repeat it at least a couple of times. The replay value is actually ridiculous from a project perspective. I see a lucrative space for these short EPs for listeners that, listeners that love to consume projects more than singles. It kind of occupies a really good space where you're not really doing like a one hour project, but you're still doing a project. Of course, it uh, helps when it's executed to perfection. So there's a good balance there. Outrate Love Machine Part 1 by Yali V's a solid 8.4 out of 10. It's an excellent EP that reinforces what we already know of Yali V's. 
He has some of the sweetest melodies in the game and has found a fantastic pocket that sets him apart and endears him to the fans. He's found, he's truly found his niche. And before I dip, do check out my website, of course, mjwemoto.com. That's mjwemoto.com. You can get some goodies over there. You can get some goodies. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Day and day. This podcast is hosted by MJ. MJ.